over 2 million packages. That's what the United States Postal Service Distribution Center in Columbia says they're likely to see during this year's Christmas season. Tonight, our Nate Stanley got an inside look at what it takes to get your packages to their Christmas destination on time. A mad dash of sorts inside the United States Postal Service's South Carolina Processing and Distribution Center. Plant manager John Collins says this month their workload will almost double. He expects on Tuesday night over 100,000 parcels will arrive and be sent out. Everybody wants their Christmas present. Everybody wants their grandkids to get their Christmas gift. Inside the facility, handlers collect truckloads of packages and bring them to the floor where they're sorted. Colent says he's hired over 100 new staff members, bringing the total number of employees to 790. So we beef up our staffing for the holiday for peak season so we can process extra, and we open up another facility a few miles away from here to help take the load off with the outgoing packages. Christmas colored letters lined boxes throughout the distribution center. Colent says if they reach the facility by the evening, they should be out for delivery by the next day. Hoping the mail process moves smoothly is Janine Keeler. I am shipping out Christmas cards to the grandchildren. She stopped by the USPS store on Gardner's Ferry Road Tuesday afternoon where the line almost stretched outside. She says even if the cards don't make it to her grandkids in Kentucky before Christmas, she knows they'll still appreciate it. You know, kids like stuff after Christmas too, so even if it gets to them after Christmas, they'll be happy. That sentiment is the same for Alan Gagan, who is hoping his package makes it to his friend on the West Coast. To me, it doesn't really matter whether it gets there uh, for Christmas. The fact is that I thought about a good friend and I'm mailing him something, and if it gets to him two days later, it doesn't really matter to me. I think when he opens it, he'll just be really happy. In Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX.